What's up everyone? On this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use third-party plugins and VSTs in Ableton. Ableton is my main DAW, and even though this tutorial is going to be very specific just for Ableton, the kind of universal process is going to be the same for any DAW or any music production program. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure that your VSTs are in the right folder or the right location. If they're in the wrong location, it's going to make this a lot trickier. So for example, I'm on a Mac right now, as you can see, and first thing I'm going to do is go to Finder and Preferences, Make sure this is checked. Just makes things a lot easier. So I'm going to go here, Macintosh HD, Library, Audio, Plugins, and then VST. Now, if you notice, all my plugins are here. I already kind of have them organized the way I want for, you know, to make production easier, just for organizational purposes. So I know now they're in the right location. This is the default location for VSTs on a Mac. Next thing I'm going to do is pull up Ableton, obviously. So I know that they're in the right location. Now it is time to find them. Now for most DAWs and most music production programs, what they're gonna do is gonna usually 99% of the time reference the default folder on your computer. So what I'm gonna do next is go to plugins right here. And if you notice, they already appear, right? They're all here. I have them organized again by folder, super easy. In case they're not, you wanna go to live preferences and go to plugins. Now, if you can see here, you have a bunch of options, right? So I have, you know, I use audio units. So like if you're using some audio units, um, in addition, I basically, if I want to use like say VST3, if I want to use like say a custom folder, you can do that. I shy away from using custom folders. I cannot suggest enough. Just leave everything on the default location. It just makes things a lot easier. And in addition, I will say, let's say you just installed a VST while Ableton is open, click rescan. Right, because if you're using Ableton, you install a VST, it won't know it's there, so make sure you rescan it, so you can scan them all through. So once you do that, now you know, okay, my plugin's in the right location, and Ableton can find them. So you gotta load one up, so I'll just load up, I don't know, it's a good one. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of, I have a lot, as you can see. I'll load maybe like a, a small one. Let's do Bowsy Booth, I guess. Uh, this is like a, almost like a Christmas bells plugin. So once you load it up, you're going to see it right here. So I'm just going to delete these. Next thing you want to do is if you want to play it. So let's say you just started using Ableton. You're like, hey, Mark, it's not making any sound when I play on my keyboard or whatever. Make sure, first off, this is checked, right? So that way you can use your keyboard if you want on your computer. You want to click this uh, thing right there. I don't even know what that's supposed to be, what symbol. Uh, but make sure you make sure this is red, essentially. I don't even know what symbol that's supposed to be. And now you can play it. And that's how you do it. 